Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson, you're watching Reality Survival. And today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you some uh, clothing and gloves from Victos Black Arms Company. And they are a uh, veteran owned company and they're very pro Second Amendment. This is the first item on the on the list and it is a, a hoodie. And with my current setup here, it's kind of difficult for me to show you this in its entirety. But one of the things that I like about this uh, hoodie is the, the way that the bottom doesn't bunch up. And the, the reason I like that is because, uh, you know, with my EDC firearm, it doesn't, it, it doesn't bunch up right around the waist. And so it makes it easier to carry while wearing, you know, this this kind of a, like a hoodie or whatever, and because uh, I generally don't wear them because it makes it it makes it difficult to carry a firearm, you know what I mean? Because the way it bunches right at your belt, and then if you wear an outside the waistband holster like I generally do, you can't really conceal it. And so with this one, uh, it makes it a little easier to do that. And I'll throw some pictures in here in the background so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but I find this to be a very, very comfortable, um, you know, sweatshirt, and uh, it fits really good for bigger guys, you know, like me. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot, 250 pounds, and I think this is a uh, XL, XL or 2X, I don't remember, and it fits fits pretty good. I'll, I'll annotate that here, whichever size it is, and uh, so yeah. Anyway, it's it's pretty nice and. Uh, pretty comfortable. I've been, I've been wearing it quite a bit over the last couple weeks just to see, you know, if I really like it or not. And it's pretty good so far. So the other thing I wanted to show you is a set of gloves. And these are called, uh, they call them the War Torn Glove. And they're basically a short, you know, kind of uh, glove, kind of a mechanic style. And I think they've made a lot of improvements uh, to this. That some of the other ones don't have. They do have the the padded knuckles, which for me, uh, whether they got like this polymer kind of on the knuckles, is kind of nice when I'm working on stuff around here on the farm and stuff. And you know, you turn a wrench and bang your knuckles or whatever, and it doesn't hurt as much. They've also got quite a bit of padding uh, over the, the the knuckle area and the back of the wrist, and then kind of this smooth smooth area right in here, you know, for. Uh, grabbing a firearm, you know, that kind of thing. You can, you know, it's, these are definitely uh, f well fitted enough that you can, you know, manipulate a firearm and that kind of thing without any, any issues, you know. Um, so it's, you know, they're, they're pretty cool. They're, they're, they're definitely well fitted. These are, I think these are, um, what size were they? A large, and they fit my hands just about perfect. Um, the only the only downside to these uh, is, <laughs> and it's not really a downside. It's just if you if you smell closely, they smell a little bit funny. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it's really not any big deal at all. They fit very well. Like I said, I've been using these for a couple of weeks, and they have these little pads on them. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they've got these little strips on here, and it really helps with the grip and all that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about them is they have um, a little patch on the thumb and the forefinger and with that I can use that to uh, use the phone still. Normally you have to take off, I can remember my pin, Normally, you can see I opened my, my phone there. So normally you have to take it off in order to do that, but with these you can you can still use it, and I think that's kind of cool. Um, they've been working pretty good. I've been using them around here, like I said, outside the farm, shoveling, doing different things, and, and they seem to, to be really good. Um, I'd say they're, you know, every bit the quality as like the ironclad gloves, the EXO, uh, gloves and mechanics, you know, right along the same same venue as those, and they, they probably the fit is the thing that I like 
better than anything else. I mean, they really fit very well. They're kind of a short cuff style. They also have a long cuff and that, where they've got like a, an opening where you can check your watch without having to take the, the cuff down. And that's kind of cool. Uh, they've got the, the Velcro right here. And then they've, the other thing that's kind of nice too is like if you're hanging them up or whatever with a carabiner, they've got some like a 550 cord loop right there as well. So pretty cool stuff. These are called the War Torn Gloves. You can find this stuff at victos.com. Um, and you know, they've, they've got a whole lot of different stuff. They sent me two other jackets that I'll be looking at as well. And uh, so you guys will see that coming out here before too long too. The other set of gloves that they sent is called the Operatus gloves. And these are a very thin and um, very tactile kind of glove. And they also have the, the little pads on the finger and the thumb on each one of them. And they, they're just super, super thin. I think it says like 0.7. Uh, millimeters is the thickness on this and so they're super thin so they're really 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 good for manipulating firearms and stuff like that you don't have to um, you know I mean it's just just really really good you don't got to worry at all about you know uh, space in the uh, trigger wheel or any of that kind of stuff you know there's plenty of plenty of room in there like that and it just doesn't take up any space and you know cause any issues there so that is kind of cool too um, these are obviously not um, you know as thick and they're not gonna be as um, as tough long term but really good for like shooting and driving and anything where you have to manipulate and do things with your hands so these are kind of cool too they're called the operator's gloves um, you know, give them a look. I'll put the link down in the description below. Uh, I think, I think all of them are good quality stuff. You know, like I said, I've I've had them for a couple weeks now, and been using them, and I don't find any any issues or any problems with them really whatsoever. Um, these are going to last uh, considerably, you know, longer probably than these. But if you need a, you know, uh, if you have a highly tactile job or you do something where you need to wear a pair of gloves and you need something that is uh, going to protect your hands but also still give you good grip and good dexterity that's the way to go so anyhow guys uh, that is pretty much that for that like i said the link will be in the description go over and take a look at them i, I definitely appreciate when you guys uh, do that because it, it helps the channel it helps the sponsors you know and that's uh yeah it's a good thing for us so Anyway, as always, we definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys. And if there are Amazon links to these items, if they sell them on Amazon, I will put some links to those in the description below as well. Thanks again for using that. I definitely appreciate that too. Take care. Stay safe. We'll see you in another video soon.